Right at it. Right at it. Oh, John and he's Spence. done it again. Just as he did at the John Deere for his first win. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 118 of the Go Get That podcast. We're joined again by Elise as we're getting some very positive feedback with her presence. So uh, why not? Any time that she can come on, we're happy to have her. So thank you, Elise. Hopefully, Elise, I mean, Elise has been making more positive appearances recently than Mr. Speed. So we need um, some good mojo. And, and, th- and this week was not that i mean if you're thinking about it from a big overlooking standpoint this is pretty darn close to wingfoot i believe in terms of rock bottom uh now i feel like it's for two different reasons i don't think his golf swing is in as bad of a spot as it was at wingfoot but you know we're we're starting to look at other things now besides just the golf swing, right? Like you're looking at um, a man who physically can't win because of a certain reason every week. Sometimes it's different. Sometimes it's not. And we're looking at a man who it, we don't really know what's going to happen in the future. A feeble uh, there's a lot of, there's a, there's a lot of questions that, I know all of us would like answers to, and of course, all of you guys would as well. But this is, of course, we know it's it's been a somber few days. I mean, we've watched literally the new Jordan Spieth come up and win the Masters for the second time in four in three years. Just an incredible win, by the way. I I, I want to put that out there. I mean, Scotty Scheffler is. One of a kind right now, uh, as he is now the second best peak, according to Data Golf, um, besides Tiger, which Jordan shared with me this morning. Um, And Jordan Spieth did the exact opposite. He finished plus nine on the week and missed the cut by three. Um, I'd be pretty confident that even last year, if you had told Jordan, Dan, or I that he would ever miss a plus six cut at Augusta, we would be... So, so against that take, uh, so yeah, it, it's, it's crazy to me, right? Cause you look at, of course played hard. Um, but like, you can't just look at the 15th hole as the hole to blame, right? Like that was pretty embarrassing, but that wasn't necessarily the story of the week by any means. I mean, he had a lot, of, I mean, Scotty Scheffler makes nine on that hole and still wins the golf tournament. So, like, you can't look at one hole as as what did him end this week. He played he played a poor thirty six holes of golf, and that's why we're here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't have to look at fifteen. You can look at number one on Thursday. <laughs> uh, hits the he hit the fairway, did he not? He hit the fairway. Well, a good tee shot. I I I believe he hit the fairway on fifteen as well. Yeah, he hit some fairways. So he hit the fairway one, pulled it left, chipped it, ran, came back down to his feet, and he made a six to start the week. And he, and he does not John Rom. He didn't make a double to start the week and go on to win. He did the exact opposite. Um, that whole kind of you know encapsulated a lot of the issues that we had you know coming in. Um, it wasn't a good iron shot at all, pulling it left to a back left flag when you can just hit it to the middle of the green. And then obviously he had the chipping woes coming in which uh, continued there. Should have been making bogey at worst, turned into a double, and it just, I mean, it really set the tone for the week. Uh, it's a, the first hole is always tough, but making a double the way he made it after you hit the dang fairway is just really encapsulated Spice 2024 so far. Yeah, I was going to say there's no <clears throat> no pictures on the scorecard, right? But I think it's thank pretty God. clear. Yeah, thank God. But there's plenty of pictures in the Masters app if you still got it downloaded. <laughs> And it will show you that the short game was atrocious. Atrocious and, does not even be good to. Right. There's, I mean, there's a long list of words you could use that are synonymous with atrocious to fit the bill of how bad the short game was. You think about number one, as you mentioned on Thursday, uh, the old double chip. And then the second chip was only to about 12 feet. 
15. I mean, let's go there. Wedge over the green. Wedge back over the green into the water. Wedge from the other side. Back over the green. Putt. Left 35 feet short. Next putt. Left four feet short. So in that instance right there, in a round that was a 79, he probably gave away four shots around the greens. And you think about how, obviously, that morning was playing extremely hard, but the inability to hit a chip shot that is remotely close to average PGA Tour level, let alone average Jordan Spieth level, is terribly concerning. And I'm not sure what to say, but it's now four four events in a row that he's lost strokes gained around the greens. And I'm going to have to do some digging because I'm not sure that's ever happened before. He had he lost three last summer when the wrist first popped up and it had been yeah. 13 out of 14 yeah. that he had gained since. And now it's four in a row. And if the wrist isn't as big of a problem as he says it is, then that should not be happening, especially yeah. with his his caliber. And it sucks because it came right after a week where he drove it really well at Valero um, other than like the one T ball on 18 on Saturday, he hit some wedge shots to decent proximity, uh, particularly Friday, the iron play looked improved and you're thinking, Oh, well, the putter's been better all year. If he can just chip it to his normal standards, there's a potential for him to be somewhat relevant come this weekend. And instead the only mention he gets on the weekend is he missed the cut on Saturday. And then when they play the back nine entrance theme on Sunday, it's speed leading off with the double with the triple on 12. And it's yeah. like, is this what this guy has become? And frankly, he is. It's, he's a top 20 golfer in the world hanging on by a thread. Um, it's been two years since he won and I'm not sure where we're going and what's next, but yeah, let me, yeah, life's great. Let me, <laughs> let me touch on the short game real quick because I, I've been saying this even more than you guys have in recent weeks. I know you guys, I, I like, I, I've been very, very critical on the short game. Um, this week, I think we're all in the same boat, right? Like, it was pretty obvious. Uh, it's horrible. Like, like, you can look at it two ways, right? Let's say one, the wrist is really big enough of an issue to hinder his short game. I mean, you simply cannot win with half of the poor short game shots he hit this week. So at that point, it needs to be especially at Augusta. taking time off. Yeah. It has to be taking time off. If the wrist is hindering him that much, which I'll get into this in a second, I, I do believe it is actually. Um, like you have to take time off. Like there's no excuse to go in there and play for T20s. Like, like what are we doing? Uh, but let's say it's not. Like, I mean, you look at Spieth's first two rounds. I, I, I don't believe it's crazy to say that with even his – with a good Jordan Spieth short game, I don't think it's crazy to say he could have been around even par for the first two days with the way he hit the ball. Um, I mean, you look at four, possibly five sh- – uh, no, not – I wouldn't say – I wouldn't say five. So four shots on 15. You look at a simple up and down on one. That's six shots right there that Jordan Spieth routinely gets up and down at most points in his career nine times out of ten. And then you look at just other, like, chips on 11 that were just 15, 16 feet short that are usually six, seven, eight feet, even though they're hard shots. Like, just, like, 14 and 17, I, I, I remember being huge problems. Like, he missed the greens on 14 and 17 all week and then would just not give himself a good look for par. Like, like these are times when he should be getting these tidy, right? Like, that's where Jordan Spieth has always had the advantage. Jordan Spieth never hit the ball like Scotty Scheffler did, does right now. Like, Jordan Spieth, and, and not saying Scotty's squirt game isn't unbelievable, but it's definitely not as creative, I don't think, as Jordan's was. And then Scott hits the required shots almost every time. Jordan, no, Jordan has been known to go that extra length to force a shot and pull it off, right? Like, it, it was inexcusable. Like I, I never thought I'd see the day that he would chip like he did this week. It was unbelievably bad. Um, 
people talk about the Oberg uh, shot that he put in the water on 15, scaring Spieth. Like, what? Like, it's, it's Berg's second time playing that hole in tournament. First time playing that hole in tournament play. And what he's doing is affecting you, a champion here. That's a horrid take. Like, a Berg shot should never be affecting anything Spieth's choosing to do from 20 yards different. I mean, he's 20 yards closer. He's got nothing like the same shot. Uh, it, it was just a poor golf shot. It was a horrifically played hole that, besides the fact that it's Augusta and I might six putt, I could have easily scored better uh, from that position. Um, it, It's just inexcusable. Like, I, I, it, it can happen. And listen, I, I've been I've been saying this. Um, I do think the wrist is an issue. I don't know whether it's actually physical or whether it's mental, but every every shot he's hitting the same. Like every shot is back of the stance, hit down on it, take a divot, which he's always done. He's always taking divots around the greens. Um, but like it's always been a chopping motion that like they're like we're Augusta requires so much creativity that we just didn't see out of him this week. So I think there's got to be something there, but that's not an excuse. Like, I mean, do we want to talk about Kevin Van Falkenberg's article on speed? I did not read the full thing. I like, couldn't get through it. But that's pretty sad. I mean, yeah. but he's, he suggested the risk was an issue. Yeah. And he was like wincing over shots that you don't necessarily see on TV. No. Yeah, absolutely. But, um, I, I agree. So at that point, it's like, well, if the risk is that much of an issue and everything I've read, because I'm a sick person, like I literally Googled uh, everything about you could about like ulnar nerve damage and like it could actually lead to permanent hand weakness. Um, and he already has like a weak, he already like had a weak grip and he like, remember in 2018, how you described like his hand just like got like weaker and like weaker in terms of... And, his grip that was like affecting his swing um so i think like some of these things are all potentially like related as part of his fall off we don't ever know that for sure but i mean just look at his hands they're not normal hands i'm sorry they've been <laughs> like like this like, dis- disgusting cyst since at least 2019 when he won the dan patrick show and showed showed um dan dan patrick his hands so it's just, and also, guess what? Ganglion cysts are one of the like number one causes of ulnar nerve damage. Yeah, no, I think uh, that's a good point. And in fact, like, I didn't so, know all of that. It's some good insight. Um, like, Doctor Elise is just <laughs> diagnosing Spieth with. I diagnosed myself that I have I have a problem. Like yeah, when he had, when he had, when he had CDF, I looked it up as well, and like I was like, "Oh my god, he should not have been playing." Like, ugh, that's like a horrible. I mean, I, I I'm personally infection. of the opinion, uh, and I hate to say that he doesn't have a chance. But like, un- unless like the wrist fully isn't an issue, and he reworks his golf swing, he has no chance to win the PJ or the US Open. He has two months. You could have said from, that coming into the year, probably. Probably, but you know, I, I hate to say he has zero chance because, like, he is Jordan Spieth. He has an enormous amount of talent. Um, like he also gave us false hope at the Century and Waste Management Phoenix Open. I mean, I, I truly believe if he had hit the ball like Scott did this week, I, I, I truly believe he would have still finished bottom of the barrel. He would have made the cut and just finished bottom of the barrel. Like, like he doesn't hit the required shots, sure. But, like, that's not where he's losing the shots that are costing him golf tournaments. Like, it's around the greens right now. That is yeah, absolutely yeah, killing lo- him. He's losing shots everywhere. I, I agree. I'm Everything's a problem. Everywhere, Bob. <laughs> I, I, but, like, I, I still believe it's a T45 finish with Scott's iron play this week. Like... Ooh. He can't get up and down from anywhere right now. Yeah, I don't know. Like how was, I don't know how it was in the second round. I have to look again, but it was it was slightly positive. He actually gained a little over a shot on approach in the second round. Trending, mind you. So trending, trending. Good news. Anyway, trending. 
Uh, the wrist stuff sucks because I think, uh, look, we don't want to give it credit for, we don't know anything, right? We're just, as at least put it, we're pretty sick individuals and we try to figure this stuff out. It makes a lot of sense. It's a very valid equation that we, we are coming up with here. And it, it sucks to think that somebody as stubborn as he is likely will not get this fixed until after the Open, at least, after the President's Cup. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, I wanted to, to follow up on the short game. First time in his career he's ever lost in four straight. In his career. And that includes, like, all the way back in 2010 when Data Golf has a few things in there. Um, like, this is – this is – Is that good, Dan? Uh, is it good? Yeah, is that good? Uh, I don't even know what it is, man. It's sad is what it is. And it's – it's just, like – as soon as I mean, not that the the swing and the ball striking has been fantastic, but it's like we can't go a darn season where everything is somewhat stable. The putter comes back, the short game goes away. The driver starts to hit some bombs with the occasional snap hook, but whatever. And the short game is gone. The iron play is gone. The wedges are gone. And it's like this constant game of whack-a-mole. That I think was mentioned in that there were a lot of sad articles about Mr. Speed this week. Uh and he was sad. This, this constant yeah, he was, and he cares. Um but this constant like fix this, don't don't, you know, lose this other thing is just so disheartening. Um for a guy who Frankly, I know he's still a top, you know, 20 player in the OWGR and will be relevant because of his name. He's 25th but, in the data golf, if I may add. So he's not quite top 20. Yeah, top 20 fair, fair enough. <laughs> Sorry. So he's overrated is what you're saying. A little bit. And <laughs> the truth is, like, yeah, he's really – I don't want to say he's – it, it's just a continuous reminder that he's gone from what he used to be. And there's like every time you want to sprinkle a little bit into the hope bucket of not even 15 winning five times in a season coming back, but winning once a season and then getting greedy and saying, Oh, let's win a major. Like I did after the century. It's still my pinned tweet on Twitter is that Jordan Spieth will win a major this season. Taking it back. He just continues, continues to dash those hopes and dreams. And uh, people started calling. I mean, we should get into this at some point. McCormick, uh, let let your takes be heard. I've I've given my takes on. I had a we had a spaces uh, after the seventy nine concluded, where I shared That's my thoughts fun. on McCormick. But let's uh, let's get into it because we need to. Mr. Bob, your hand is up. Yeah, this and... is. Uh, yeah, this is. My strongest take. Thank you, Capitals, for that second goal. Thank you, Jordan. Hashtag all caps. Ten seconds baby. left. Yes, ten seconds. My left. Capitals as well. Yes, I forgot about that. Yes, my Caps as well. Even though yeah, I hate them playing? all the time. Uh they're playing the uh the Bruins. Ah. A thrust from <laughs> the Caps tonight. A thrust. Yes, the Rangers are getting their President's Trophy celebrations possibly ready. Um, but... this trophy. Yes. <laughs> As just like the uh Caps have taken that one. Aon risk reward winner. Um, <laughs> Matthew Wolf, multiple time champion. Never forget. Uh regardless. Um this is a take that I believe is two parted that I, I don't think many people are gonna agree with. Um and I'll start off by saying this. Um if Greller goes tomorrow. I am not – I'm fine with that. Greller is by no means the problem. I just need a sign of life from Mr. Spieth that he's willing to make a change. 
And I don't think McCormick is in the realm of possibility at all. He's at all. Limits. <laughs> uh, I, I think Mr. Spieth has, I, I, um, and my second part is I don't think it's McCormick's fault. Um, thank, thank you. Yeah. I, 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 I'll be honest. Like McCormick is a world-class swing coach. Um, Whoa, now, like he, like he is a great swing coach. Is he? Who has? Yes, yes. Is he? Look, he look at what he did for Jordan Speed. Who else? Is he he knows. Know? I guarantee you, he has a way to improve Jordan Speed's golf swing as it is right now. Guarantee. I talked to Dan about this. I, I, I don't think. I don't think Speed is very coachable at all um now if he gets rid of mccormick tomorrow oh, the, the the champagne is certainly out but not because it's cam mccormick like i like i do not think mccormick is to blame for this like you're jordan speed you're a three-time major winner like cam mccormick is not at fault for Spieth's career fall off. I'm sorry, you can't say that he is. Like okay, well, okay. At least Chad but at some Chad point, Chad. like you just you need a different you need a different correct. Goal. Yeah, absolutely. I I and I that's what like, I just said. Like I'm I'm fine. I with mean, him going. It, maybe that McCormick was a good coach, like uh, for Spieth to get Spieth to where he was in 2015 to 2017, but he clearly like isn't working anymore and if speed isn't coachable that's really like that just that partly means that the coach is not getting through to that's speed anymore true. yeah that's, that's yes true. it is that's with it's any true. player no. like, you have a different coach i in fully a, agree in with the, in the nfl <laughs> you have a different coach in the nfl and they like come in and they bring a different voice come on. and they and they turn the team around no i agree with i'm sorry least. sometimes you just need that hold you on, need Bob. like a different voice let, like let that. me pu- let me put oh, it this hold way hold on let me oh, no 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 no, no, no 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 i want to add this this real quick if to simplify it and i, I was thinking what elise was saying i'm not 100 sure that spieth has confidence in what cam is telling him to do that's what and i want to add here's here's let me chime in on this a little bit I think it's it's one thing to think that McCormick that Spieth needs a new voice, and I'm I'm not I, against and, that. I agree. I I agree. But but to say that the only reason that people are calling for McCormick is because you can't fire Spieth. You fire McCormick because you can't fire Spieth because Spieth is the one who ultimately hits the shots. And let me like. I I understand where you guys are coming from, and maybe it is. And look, there's a very reasonable argument that he just needs a new voice, a new something. And McCormick may not be the problem, but he might not be part of the solution. Even though he was what created Jordan Spieth, essentially in the first place, potentially, right? I just don't like the creation. You can create Spieth. He was a swing coach the entire time. Yeah, but you can't, create him. Speed had natural you, talent. Okay, right. Okay, so you can't say then though that it's his fault for the swing disappearing now because Speed created his own swing. You can't have it both ways. You I'm cannot, cannot say, tell me. I, and, I first of all, first of all, I do agree. I think me and Dan are on very similar pages here. I don't. Um, well, yeah. I have I have another thought, but continue. Let, I forgot. I, I need I need my rebuttal. I'll say this. I'll say this to Elise's point. Um, she has a point with the NFL, but you can't compare individual to team sports. I'm sorry. You can't. Okay, but okay, how about in running? Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will I'm going now to another individual sport. Okay. I'm I'm going to uh to tennis. All right. You look at someone like it's I'm laughing comparing speed to Djokovic, but um, <laughs> you look at someone like Djokovic, like just fired his coach, right? Like he is not at fault for Djokovic not playing well the last three months, but it could still have been necessary to get rid of him. 
I think that's a similar situation with speed. Like, I, I don't think a new voice does anything but help. But the comments calling for Cam's head, saying that he ruined Jordan Speed, are absurd. Ruined is not a fair term to use. I, I mean, to say that this career decline is on Cam McCormick is incorrect. It is on Jordan Speed. I'm sorry. Like, it, like that is how it is. And, and to re... Like, well, right, just, I, think, I don't think we're saying that much different things, but I'm just saying that you know, it, it sometimes you just need to have someone different to just get a new swing thought, for instance, or just a new, yeah. a new Very, way of yeah. looking at something. It's uh, like in running as well, like sometimes you like a lot of elite athletes, like elite runners, they switch coaches, um, like Grant Fisher, for instance, recently. Is they just need like a different a different voice or maybe like yeah. new people to train with, and that's really what I was saying. Like, and the same thing with the NFL. Like, and that's fine. That's, you have that's a good a team, point. and like, like you know, like Mike McCarthy of the Green Bay Packers. Like, he <laughs> was a stale voice that they that the Green Bay Packers like absolutely needed to get rid of. And yeah. so, yes, this is mostly on Speed because Speed ha- doesn't is either too stubborn or like hasn't recognized that he needs a some kind of change like every other like golfer practically makes changes all the time speed is like the one golfer that almost never makes a change even to his equipment like he's he is really slow to take up the new clubs he's really slow to uh like even change like his putter when his putt when his putting wasn't like going well whereas like you know um, every other Speed golfer is like boomer. switching to mallet and blade yes. like every <laughs> yes. Speed is a boomer. <laughs> He's a boomer. I think we're saying I think we are sort well, of on similar points, on. Dan. You can go and then hold I'll... on a second here. So I think there's there's a, a slight difference in some of these uh thoughts on Twitter, Instagram, whatever it might be, and what I'm trying to convey. It's one thing to call for Cam McCormick's head. And that, sorry, that sounds really weird. It's one thing to say Cam McCormick is not doing his job well enough and therefore should be let go. It's another thing to say Spieth needs to make a change and that should start with his coach. And I think there's a, because of a new voice. Like, I don't think saying Cam McCormick is not doing a good job is fair. Not at all. I agree with that. I think saying that he needs, Spieth might need a new voice is totally fair. Yeah, I, I um, and yeah, and I'm on the page of that. Spieth has lost the benefit of the doubt in Cam McCormick not doing a good job because when this wrist, uh, the first wrist thing came up in 2018, when it like came about, I think he started playing better in 21, and it was like, oh, there's a wrist thing in 2018, and Spieth was saying. I was too stubborn to make a change. Cam was telling me I must strengthen my grip. I must strengthen my grip. And I was like, no, I can't. It hurts. But I'm going to, I want to keep playing. I don't, I'm not going to fault Spieth for the desire to play golf, but I am going to fault him for not listening to the guy that knows his swing that, that well and is seeing, watching his swing on video all the time and saying, you simply cannot play with a grip that is this weak. And so to me, Spieth uh, either – maybe maybe he doesn't trust McCormick as well, but that seems like a little bit of a um, – look, whatever, whatever's going on. My point is I think Cam McCormick's a good coach, and I think mm-hmm. saying that he's not a good coach is the reason that Spieth is not playing well I think is uh, not fair, and I, but I think it's fair if you say, look, Spieth needs a new voice and McCormick isn't going to be part of the solution going forward because they just seem to be kind of stuck at a, at a spot that isn't that progressive. That's fair. And that's I don't, kind of where I'll lay it out. That's fair. I, I don't think we have the whole picture either. I, I think there's something, yeah, some sure. thought or something going on that we don't know about, whether it be the risk being worse, whether it be something in Jordan's team that, you know, isn't great. Um, yeah. There's, I, I just, there, there has to be something going on. I, the emotion I, that he showed to Thursday morning in round one was pretty, you know, that was a tough to look at. Yeah. And it's, it was interesting because 
it felt like there was a lot of frustration at times kind of leading up. He was always talking about, I'm playing better than I'm scoring. I'm playing better than I'm scoring. And you see these like angry swings, right? We saw, I guess we saw it on Friday too at the Masters, that iron shot on five that comes up like <laughs> 30 yards short of the flag. And there's that, I think Bobby posted it went viral. It was like phenomenal. Just ready to take a ready know. to chop wood. Yeah. <laughs> ready to chop wood on, on Augusta Nationals uh, fifth fairway. But there's like a a lot of the photos are like a somberness, like a sadness of like it almost seems like yeah. I hope it's not doubt, but there seems to be a like seems to be doubt in every swing. I think I'm just not good at this. Yeah, and I think at that point it makes you. I I think then it's easy to draw parallels to his coach also isn't good enough, but I think there's um proof that mccormick is a good enough coach and i think there's proof that spieth has ignored some of that good coaching in the past to suggest that if he wants to make a change fine and i'm I'm not against that one one thing on mccormick though dan is is make a bitch strong one thing on mccormick i don't know which analyst said it but someone said it during masters week that if he went to a different coach that coach could fix him in 10 minutes i'm not sure who said that but that was that, said. I've definitely heard that before. I mean, th- not just this week, but Brando Chambly has definitely said that before. Like, if you went to Butch Harbin, I think this was back, like, probably during the 2020, like, 2019 days, like, they would, he would get fixed in an instant. It's, I don't think it's that simple, it's obviously. Probably not that simple, but yep. to make the well, call, th- there's, because there's this needs to the be fixed. mental and also you don't know about the physical. So, like, for those, yeah. Like Sorry. physical could also I... be affecting the swing as well. Yeah. And and to that point of uh speed being fixed in 10 minutes or whatever it might be, I I think my point is uh, or something that I would believe in is that I think McCormick knows that too. And I, I think there's there's a bit of a potentially, maybe he doesn't, but I think there's a bit of a um and maybe this is a reason to move on, right? Maybe McCormick has the answer, but can't find the way to share that with Spieth in a way that Spieth is going to undertake it and understand it. Um, but I, I want to give Cam the benefit of the doubt that, yeah, like he knows that it's it's not good enough. This is that Cam McCormick's career is built on Jordan Spieth. Yeah. He knows that, right? He And he's not going to not invest in that. Um, and, but he I, does. I, to be fair, he does post some interesting Instagram <laughs> videos. He's he's, he's a, a unique. Well, you you unique must coach. you must give him credit. I I he does. He's a content man. He's he a content loves creator, his yeah. good content. Wasn't he? I will say this. Straight vibing. At one point, yeah, yeah. I think he during, still is. I just don't think during his good run. I, yeah, I think Berger is still with Atlas. Yes. Yeah. No. I think, so. I think so too, but I I don't know. I mean, we haven't seen straight vibing in a minute, though. To be fair, uh, granted, he's that's like one tournament. He's yeah. been hurt. He's played a few this year. They haven't won very well. Yeah. I miss I miss him a little bit. He's kind of a fun player when he's playing pretty well. Anyway, like he had one good tournament, and then he quickly fell off again. Like, yeah. He, like he, when he came back, it was like he never left. But then that like lasted only for that tournament, basically. Yeah, I I, I want to say this. Um, a few points. Um, one, I completely disagree with the statement that one other person can fix Jordan Spieth in ten minutes. Jordan Spieth is not fixable in an hour right now. Like you, you must understand that. Like I think half a- of his battle is still mental. Yeah. Like no matter how good of a swing he has, his next tournament golf shot will have doubt. Like, that is where we're at. So I disagree. Um, I think over time it could give him more confidence, which is why I don't disagree with saying he needs a new coach. But I think the message is still completely wrong. The, the, the message is he needs a new voice. He needs a change. He needs something different. For Throughout his career, it's been the same. It's been consistent, consistent, consistent. He's doing the same thing with the same people and expecting different results. 
That's not how life works. Um, but the message that Cam McCormick, like, there's just a lot of people who are saying he's ruined Spee's career. I, I just, I just, I can't, like, I can't sit here and defend those takes at all. Like, I, tr- I do believe Cam McCormick is a very good swing coach. I do believe Jordan Spieth needs a new voice in some way, be that caddy coach, mental psychologist, but both things can be true at the same time. So I think me and, and I actually think Elise and I are basically on the same page. We just said in different ways. I didn't love the comparison to um, team sports, but it, it kind of makes sense in the situation. I just, I, it, they're so different, but I think at the end, the end, Elise and I and Dan are kind of all saying the same thing. I think Jordan has a little bit more against McCormick than I do, but um, not, not against him. I just, you know, I'm tired of missing the cut at the Masters, and not that's fair. And, and that's fair. A lot um, of speed, but I, 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 but I, I do agree with Dan. Like you look at the way Spieth approaches and like laughing after missing shots. Like I, I just the blame has got to be on Spieth. It cannot be on McCormick. Like you're missing the cut at the Masters. That is not because of your swing coach. I'm sorry. Like getting a new swing coach could help, but the blame cannot first go to McCormick. It has got to go to Spieth. And all of this is being said while in one week we'll be celebrating our second RBC stop, title. Stop, I'm gonna get that stop, 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 stop. Let's start with making a cut. That'd be, that'd be nice. Uh, yeah. yeah I, two weeks ago. Uh, Solero, two weeks, weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats to Jason. He was also he to be fair, he's also plus four through fifteen in that event and needed a an <laughs> miracle ace, ace yeah. and then a birdie up and down from seventy two yards in the bunker or something uh, to Counts. kickstart his uh, charge charge. But and <laughs> yeah, his charge to T ten. Um, <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> it it isn't. I know he says this a lot and we laugh at it. Uh, particularly in one group chat where he's like, oh, I'm playing so much better than the scores are suggesting. I'll I'll flip that around a little bit and say, I don't think it's, it, it can't be as bad as it, as plus nine at the masters looks. I agree. No. But I certainly don't think it's very close to very good until this week, of course, but like, <laughs> it's, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's not good. It's not good enough. It's not sharp enough. It's not, it's not, it's definitely not top 10 player in the world. No, no, close it's not. And then that's and what if he, he wants somehow to be. backdoors his way into a triumph this week. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, it would well, be just like well, 2022. He would be a top RBC. 10 player in the world, according I to. I disagree, actually. I, I don't, if he won this week, it would be nothing like 2022. I, I, 2022, I just, he actually gained. Yeah. He, I think he led the field T to green at Valero. And then he was decent at the Masters other than the 12th hole. And so yeah. there was, like, signs of, okay, he's actually hitting the ball pretty well. He just can't right. make a putt, and then the Masters was bad. This time, the only sign I'm banking on is a plus 1.10 strokes gain in the second round of the Masters. Like, <laughs> That's what you're banking on. Hang your hat on that. Uh, well, and the fact that he – and the fact that obviously and the short game he scares the back field. And, he scares the field. Yeah. He hasn't done um, anything <laughs> – he scares the field. At least, but, at least and I constantly joke about having a disease, and I think Dan might even have the only has, a stage further. Uh, yeah. The only thing speed scares these days is the fans on the sides of the greens with his approach shots. Yeah. The, well, he did that many times this week. He certainly did. The patrons were all scares over rooftops. Duck cover and all. Yeah. yeah, it was duck cover. Speaking of patrons, important to note. Important to note. Um, a One few, of my... a few Scott um, shots into the patrons this week were. We're very fortunate to be in nice <laughs> positions when they finish. Yes, they certainly were. One of, <laughs> speaking of patrons, I think Tiger like KO'd a pat- patron. Uh, that clip is so funny where he's in the trees on the left on nine and just hits a rocket out to the right side oh, of nine. And you just see somebody more, yeah. go down in a heap. And that's like, it's the great, it, I don't even think there's a four. It's just a, it's just a, you know, classic. Tiger doesn't yell black. four, yeah. Doesn't get no, he's too enough. tired. It hurts the. It, he might. He might have to get surgery after if he yeah. does that. So yeah, it takes time to get lot. to plus sixteen. Hey, Bryson yeah. says four now. Bryson does say four. We should. Uh, it was a pretty good Masters, other than the plus nine. 
I thought until well, the back nine, and then it was the Scott show. Scott is just so. I mean, I can't believe we have. Yeah, Scott is just so much show. more mentally like tougher than everybody else. Yeah, he's in inevitable. Addition to, in addition to like his, you know, just his ball striking being better than everyone else's. And now that he's figured out the putter with the mallet, it's like it, it really always does feel like Thanos is coming. Yeah, it was such a chilling plottage after the bogey on seven. It was a great birdie on eight. And then the shot on nine, I thought was in. The uh, Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, I, I the, thought that was going to be same. the sickest moment I've seen in a long time. Um, And then the bird, just to follow the birdie on 10. I mean, kudos to Homa for playing uh, birdieing 10. Obear was right there with a great birdie on nine. And then just the water on 11, you know, took out Obear. And then the... Obear showed some of his experience, inexperience on the back nine. Like, this is where you yeah. need a couple more masters. And also, by the way, Obear put his, like, ass off. At this week, his, yeah. At the masters. He was, like, literally, I think, Maybe the top in terms of strokes game putting for the week. Feels a little Zalatoris y. Yeah. I will say, view. like, Oberg, incredible showing. He's sick. Um, I love him. And he will be the new speed at the Masters. Um, no, he won't. I feel like he is going to play well there for the rest of his career. He just hits the ball so well. Um, and his short game is, I mean, it's not, I mean, his putting's. The He's way he will like contend that. in future years is nothing like the way he contended this year. That's I fair. mean, he made yep. so many ridiculous putts that are three putted by every other first timer. Or speed. I mean, that, that one on not well. <laughs> Possibly D greened, chipped back to his feet, <laughs> and then two putted after that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, it oh was fun God. watching. Um. <laughs> He was still great though. Obert Obert was uh two point six strokes gained ball striking around. That'll yep. play. I mean gained, it's, it is he very gained impressive. over two on the greens every day. That's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. You know they I, watered I, that you know they watered the greens between on between Saturday and Sunday. Phil said they yeah. watered the greens. Yeah, to get a little bit better scoring, which I thought still played over par. Kind of tough, but I think it's fair enough. Like, you want some of those funnel pins to be a little bit more, like, you want to see shots like the one Scheffler hit on nine and the the couple of darts into ten from Homa and, and Scheffler. And um, it just kind of um, sucked that after, once Scott Scheffler hit the middle of the green on 12, it was over. Like, yeah, he, he was four clear. At least, yeah. yeah, and it was yeah. no, yeah. You and you look at like, and I'll say this: I don't think we have too much left, but um, I'll I'll say this uh, about Augusta National. It is unfortunate that we don't get more close masters, but that also just speaks to the brilliance of the golf course. Uh, I know it's always ranked two, three, four. Um, it is by far the best tournament golf course that the world will ever see. It is every single inch of that course when it plays the right way, besides like a 2020 is such a test. You never see a course separate players like it does year in and year out. And Every year, it's the deserving winner, and it's it was incredible to watch this week. It was the most fun Masters I've ever seen. Um, like it, it like it sucks that we didn't deserve a four shot victory, but we were spoiled the first three rounds completely. It was an unbelievable viewing experience. I know Jordan. You sort of had had enough of Augusta National after watching Spieth make the scores he did, but I I, I know I at least we were Sunday. watching all week. And Dan, I assume you probably were too. Uh, I know you watched Sunday. Holes. 
Um, yeah, it's just like 17. Like, there's no course in the world. Like, where where Bryce Bryson was penalized for hitting a 360 yard drive on 17. He had to lay up because he was too close from 80 yards. It's a layup from 80 yards. Like, that's it's sick. just that's incredible. Sick. I watched um, Bryson. He was doing it, and Bryson was doing it with like 3D clubs. Did you hear about this? Yeah. Like 3D yeah. printed clubs that he had gotten approved by the USGA on Monday of the yep. Masters. So that's like crazy. That's awesome. Bryson was full of content. I, I wanted to just mention that it was fun to see Bryson in contention this week. I missed that. Like he was, the, he took the, the sign. He was waving <laughs> yeah. away the patrons. He had 3D golf clubs and hold out on 18 for birdie. Man, and- he hit the ball. Be careful. If he can dial in his, like, I, I, I don't know whether it was adrenaline or he just wasn't able to figure out the pop, but, like, he was flying every single miss over the flag just 15 yards long. Like, he was hitting it at the pin every single time. It was extremely also, impressive ball striking. I think the short game in some spots let him down a little bit. For sure. But, but there putting. is something to be said about, like, he has a huge advantage putting inside of eight feet. Because if he can learn how to read the greens, his stroke is so automatic. Now, yeah. from 30, 40 feet, he'll struggle with that his entire career. Just through arm lock and not being a very field player. He'll he'll struggle lag lag putting throughout his career here. But he does gain such an advantage off the tee when you're hitting shorter irons into these greens. I, I, it is such an advantage. And, and I truly do believe that, that Bryson will miss a lot of cuts here. Bryson will shoot 79 here multiple times. But he, I, I truly believe he'll win a green jacket eventually if he can just figure out something about how to read the greens because his stroke is perfect for those eight-foot pots where you have to start him outside the hole and you have to be confident with your line. Like, when he figures that out, he's going to win a jacket and hopefully not the first beat wins another. But um, I watching him this week, I, I was watching him on feature groups literally up until, like, the 16th hole. Like I just, I got so enjoyment out of watching him play that golf course. The content was unbelievable this week. It was fun to watch. He had, he had, he had, he had a pitching wedge into eight. That's yeah. That's that's insane. That's insane. I mean, and he flew it 15 yards over the green and made par. (laughs) I've watched Bryce miss so many putts on Sunday. Was it Sunday? Well, yeah, Yeah, he also just couldn't buy one on Sunday. Like he he just just could not buy one. But it wouldn't um, have mattered. Wouldn't have mattered. It was. No, but I mean, I wanted I wanted someone to make a run. Nobody, That's like, true. nobody that, except for yeah, maybe no Aubert, like uh, made a run at at Scotty. There was no. Yeah, that's what stinks. Usually, you have someone in that Xander Bryson Smith area that makes a run, and no one did this year. But I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of low sack players in that group as well. So <laughs> Fleetwood Xander, I mean, I mean yeah, Cam- Fleetwood, Fleetwood Xander and Cam Young don't exactly don't yeah. exactly shiver Scotty's timbers by any means. <laughs> I was gonna say Cam Smith shot sixty four to win a major, so I like I would have been cool if he got rolling yeah, no, a little bit. Cam Smith was um, one, especially since he holed out on two. Yeah, I. What are your thoughts on Morikawa in contention this week? It kind of drummed up some demons because, one, I thought it was impressive that he played well in the wind because I figured that just doesn't happen. Uh, but then it usually doesn't. <laughs> it felt like nine was tough to watch the double bogey from that bunker. That really should just be a bogey, and you go down two to Scheffler entering the back, but you still have a fighter's chance. Um, but he was Scheffler was one under through eight. Or even. Um, I think he was even. He had let a lot of people. He, I mean, he had kind of opened the door crack. Yeah, first, and like Morikawa was. Holes. I think Morikawa was one under through eight. Yeah, I think so. So that was, you know, really, really in it at a major for the first time in what's felt like a long time, and that's good for the game. I think to have him be. Because it's always, I think it's always better for the TV product to say, "Hey, we've got a two-time major champion in the final group, along with Scotty Scheffler." Um, so that was cool. Cool to see Homa back-to-back top tens in the majors. I think, I don't know if he, how well he fits at some of these other courses, but this year. But I think he's live 
because he's won at Riviera and Riv's a great comp course. Like I think he could be a dude to win a jacket at some point. Mm-hmm. Um trying to think of this other was a good start for him. Yeah, certainly. I'm trying to think of other and that that shot on twelve is tough. Because if it lands a foot shorter, it probably bounces into the straw and rolls <laughs> back down into the little fairway. And who knows if he makes three or four. But it certainly isn't a five. And yeah. that that's kind of disappointing. Um, My thinking but, at 12 is always make sure you take the longer club instead of the shorter one and look where that got him. So, yeah, it's exactly. just the best part three in the world. That's all it is. Um, at least how, how sad was it that Xander was Xander? I mean, I, I picked him to win. But, it, I mean, it was it was predictable Xander. Like, I also... Solo eight. <laughs> solo eight. Like, it was someone... Yeah, someone was like, Xander, we know this is going to end. Xander's finishing, like, in the top ten, not competitive. I mean... That's exactly what he did. He's, and it's exactly... Precisely he's, what he did. Exactly so he did. predictable. He is... Completely not competitive. He has um, a... Very, like, his floor and his ceiling are kind of, like, very close together, right? Because he doesn't... It's a good way of putting it. He doesn't spike a lot to win, but he doesn't perform badly either. So he's like a solid lock in, for example, a draft kings, like a DFS lineup, or if yeah. you want to play him for a placement, like he's very solid in that regard. Yeah, there's so much green on his data golf page, but zero yellow. <laughs> it's like it's it's pretty funny. Um, yeah. um and I, I, I said before that I think we might be one major early on Xander. I will be possible. I could maybe I'm just being you know. Ryan would agree with you on. I think Valhalla might be his moment. Um, It just felt a little soon after the players to really be there. Yeah. Uh, But we'll see. We'll see. I will Uh, say Xander would win the weakest of the four majors. He would. He will. He would be a PGA champion. He would finish. Yeah. I still believe he'll win a Masters though. I, I I said that in the pod. I he will. I think. Yeah. So he's got to get over the hump, though. Phone. Masters of PGA, yeah, two majors. I could see that eventually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at least I want to say um, Sunday would have been painful if we didn't or you didn't snipe eight and a half to one. It would have been yeah. a lot harder to watch that back nine. <laughs> it was still hard for me to watch this back nine. I'm sorry, but like Scotty just doesn't. Do I I, I couldn't root for him, even though even though I had the 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 eight to one, I, I couldn't root for him. Someone on Twitter was like, he's excited. He's more excited than you think. He almost falls over with every swing. I'm like, that doesn't make him exciting. <laughs> that doesn't funny. make him exciting. That just makes him, that's his swing. That doesn't it make it him sucks exciting. because like, like he is so good. He is so like, good. He is, yeah. he is so grounded that he doesn't have the career fall off in the bag that Spieth and Rory had. Like he's too yeah. grounded to be exciting. I, I would love to talk about Rory. He's too grounded to be exciting, but that also means he's too grounded to, like, I just don't think, I don't think if he did, if he in the same exact situation did what Speed did in 2016, I just, I don't see it, I, I don't see it affecting him nearly as much at all. Yeah, he's, because he'd go to Meredith, he's proving. his newborn, <laughs> and be like, whatever, God. And then he'd come back and win the next week by six shots. Like it's absurd. It <laughs> Whatever. Is absurd. God. He, he's just. I mean, one. he's just. He's really mentally tough. Although I will say, like Rory back, you know, when Rory was winning a bunch of majors, like I, I didn't think he was mentally like fragile until it started to, like, well, yeah, I guess maybe you didn't no. Have I had Scott to ground him. Then uh, no, actually that's wrong though because 2010, oh the 2010 Masters like just really sticks out in my mind with like Rory like bending over and like crying when he like shot 80 to lose that Masters. But Rory's just like so was so like also like dynamic. He had like he has like that Rory walk when when he was dominant like that you knew Rory was like feeling himself Strut. and you knew he was just gonna like beat everybody. By a lot, like a congressional, he'd beat everyone like by a million. Um, and we just like Rory just can't never seem to get to that place anymore. 
who doesn't have that freedom, um, that swag anymore. Speaking anyone might be going congressional. To nah, uh, that was that was crazy. If you're listening, it's April fifteenth while we're recording this. The whole Rory to live story gained some traction today. Re- crazy. Um, well, it got shut down by James. Uh, Jamie Weir. James Weir. Do you remember what yeah, story yeah, yeah, he yeah. broke? The he the bro- the hat gate. Yeah. The Ryder Cup with Cantley. Yep. He did. Uh, that was also not true. Keep that in mind. But he's close to Rory. He's kind yeah. of a thug. Also, but... like Rory going to live. <laughs> um, speaking of Rory at Congressional, I just looked. He gained nearly six shots on the field. Like it was per a good round. performance. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so sick. It'll be like speed this week at Hilton Head. Like when I go to Rory, like I, I. Watched him in Bell Reeve and like what his driving, he was driving it miles past Tiger and JT at Bell Reeve. Like miles, so yeah. far, just so good and just so frustrating because he drives it so well and then he just like can't either can't hit a wedge close enough or like four putts for freaking whatever bogey that he did. In, I on think Sunday, his, like, yeah. I think his time is coming shortly, though, in a major. It's I don't. It's not going to be not going to be at Augusta, though. It's I don't think be... he wins the Masters, if like as his next major. I think I don't if, think he wins a jacket ever. Next. If he if he is going to get a jacket, he has to win another one first. Well, yes, but I, don't, I just don't. The, the mental scoring is like too much at the Masters. Yeah. I think. No, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's it's not, and, but, but I think he could get a like Valhalla. Or, I mean, obviously, he won there before. Well, yeah. But if he – and he was really – he was there at the U.S. Open last year, like, he's – and he was the Open the year before. You know, if he actually gets one under his belt, I think he will – I think part of the Masters stuff is obviously the pressure is so large. But there's also a a slight doubt of, like, I'm not sure I can win a major. Like, I don't well, think that, he... that just adds to the pressure. Like, right, right. like the pressure – a try to win another major when you have it one one in ten years, pressure of winning the one major that you want the most, and the right. pressure of completing the career grand slam. So that would actually take one of the pressure points off. Right, and so I think that could help him. Uh, right to your point, I think it would it would make it slightly easier the next couple seasons at Augusta to be like, I can yeah I can win a major, right to have that kind of doubt be cast from his his mind i think would be massive um but you know he'll have to wait till till valhalla and yeah but i i, I really just i'm a huge Rory fan but i don't think he wins a green jacket and if i i'm really i'd be really happy to be very wrong but the thing is most grand slam winners have already won like the career yeah, grand slam I think in their all. first three tries they they win and so yeah. if that time is long gone for rory it's been like 16 masters and for speed, and for speed yep yeah, i think but mickelson Spieth's, will be the outlier speed's slam chances are interesting they're about as low as they can get because they're pretty low well. but <laughs> but if any if if there's one major that you could win out of on a whim is it really the pga <laughs> i think it's the pga not for like him. for for a, for a random golfer no, maybe not, not for space. Space. Well, yeah, I mean, the problem is the PGA though. setups are now like so much more like the US Open. It's a lot harder. But PGA like, setups yeah, like, chills, I was like 10 years ago, like, yeah, like Jason Duffner and <laughs> uh, sure. Keegan Bradley like, could just co- come in and like win Jimbo a major. Walker. Yeah, but like they don't, they, the problem is the PGA like is trying to be too much or is trying to be kind of like the US Open these days. And that means that wrong. narrows the field of who can win to like the ball. I and mean, Justin Thomas won a PGA. Who of them recently? Apparently. Well, oh, Justin Thomas won a PGA A at a regular tour stop, first of all, Quail Hollow. Yeah, and, then and then B second, Southern Hills, like he was like literally gift wrapped the major. Well, and, right. Because Mito Pereira was about to win a major. Yep. That's my point. Like Mito Pereira wins a PGA. That's and it's like, <laughs> yeah, Pereira he used to be the face of Under Armour. He's still with you, I would think. Hey, Mito Pereira was, I mean, he well, was just... he was a good 
I he was he was good before he went to live. Yeah, and then he got he got uh electrocuted on the seventy second. <laughs> that oh, swing is like, I think that's what I look like when I tee off normally. It was a helicopter. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not a helicopter, but it is a four right off the face of my driver. A high hour right? <laughs> yeah, the old the old uh, Hillary block. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've had a few Harmon hooks these days though too, so I don't really know. That was a disappointment for this year's Masters with Mister Harmon missing the cut. Oh yes, B Harmon. Yeah, also but you see, the thing is about Ryan Harmon. He went, out he, 40, shot... he went home in 47 on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, but, like, he's just going to bounce back. Like, I, I'm not yeah. worried about his golf game. I, I think it's a must bet at Valhalla, personally. He was on the range today at Hilton Head working. Not surprised. Of course the I did not see Jay Spieth on the range today. No, I did not see Jay Spieth on the range. Yeah, he already <laughs> he's knows in he's the Bahamas, work. by any chance. Oh, my God. Bahamas, goodness. in Dallas, Texas. I mean, if, what if he's just in Dallas getting surgery on the wrist? That'd be crazy. That'd be nice. How would we feel about that, actually? I, I, I'd be, I'd be fine. I think we'd be okay with it. Yeah, he'd yeah. be I out. Mean, no I mean, I don't want to watch this stuff for yeah, three stinks. months. Yeah. This stinks. <laughs> what? At least, uh, given you're the, you know, doctor. PhD, you're the doctor. <laughs> if surgery is a thing, what's the timeline? Uh, I don't remember that. Got be. It's a season out there for Steve. Yeah, yeah I, th- I think point. so. But so if he plays the President's Cup, which who knows if he's on that team, but given the way it's going, uh, that means probably not back till Pebble. Several if... weeks to several months. I mean, it just it depends on how bad it is, right? What he needs done. Uh, it could be the Woods Challenge. Maybe, but that seems like a. Would he get an invite? Yes, he'd get. An yes, yes, because he's. Yes. Yeah, because he's, he's also. The ti- he'd also he's be part of the Tiger player. crew. He goes to dinner with Tiger. Like, he's on regular. the board. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, he's a company. And man. Thomas, Thomas could vouch for him. I'm sure. Yeah. They've There's done a, ton a lot of pictures of... on Instagram with JT Tiger, Fowler, Spieth, like at <laughs> restaurants for things. <laughs> hey, don't forget couples. Almost oh, also, yeah. they also have the, they also had until Troy Van beats and retired. They had the same physio. They all had the same physio going too. The couples make the cut. No. Oh, oh. speaking of made cuts, though. Oh, Mr. yeah. Mr. Singh, Mr. Singh made and the cut. Mr. Ola Thabal. <laughs> Mr. Ola Thabal took speed to pound pound. <laughs> yes, he did. You know did they you finished see in at round the same, three. They round finished three. at the same score, and Ola Thabal had two more rounds to play. I'm pretty sure in round and they both three, played over par. You know, you know what a bet I saw was top senior I'm Phil, sure. fourteen to one. That seems like a something that I should we should have taken. That I'm absolutely should a chilling bet. Yeah, that needs to be bet. I I'm honestly Phil's decent this week. I feel like Mickelson is more than than in the story the next two majors. I'd agree. That would be oh, sick. Come on. He's just so fun. I'm not sure he's there. Did you hear his interview? Did you hear his interview after the fourth round? No. What did he say? He was like, you know, my game feels close. I mean, that's a vintage Mickelson quote (laughs) before he wins a major. I mean, he's been saying that his entire career. Spieth stole it from Mickelson. I'll I'll give him Valhalla seems a little dicey. Good course history of Valhalla. Maybe. But Pinehurst seems second, wasn't he? Einerst is very filled, possible. Yeah, I yeah. yeah, I'd put the odds of a hefty fist pump at the next two majors at probably minus one eighty. I think we get yeah, that. That's fair. That's <laughs> I fair. mean, we did get a fist pump at plus eight this week from Phil on the twelfth hole. <laughs> We're at thirteen foot bar shape <laughs> with no cheers. <laughs> I kind of like. Uh, this is looking way too far ahead, but Camp Smith plays well in majors. And Pinehurst seems like a Cam Smith kind of kind of be too long for him. Too penalizing off the tee, maybe. It's just gonna be I, long. Yeah, but he flushes his irons, man. And the he long makes irons. Yeah, but if he's just around the greens with that putter, I don't know. 
I don't know. You're right, though. Yeah. He did play well this week. Of course, his strokes gain stuff looks freaking blue. Is it all players. player in short game? 0. 0.03 yeah. off the tee, 0. 0.17 approach, around the green, 159, putting 122. Oh, I mean, no. don't get me wrong. wrong. I, I feel like, yeah, I mean, that's chilling. Yeah, that's chilling. Honestly, Damn. I this major has made me miss live players on like, oh, in, yeah, and weekly more than even last year's masters did Basically like i fun. missed mickelson mickelson showing up to pebble every year feeling like yeah. he's got such a chance speak i mean D, it was funny that dj didn't make a birdie this week i don't think i mean you have you have all the characters on live that's like that's the thing too like yeah. pg has like so many just like vanilla boring Chats. like Good. Boring m- might as well be the same player almost like people on tour like like we don't have like, like did Brooks. you see did it's you so... see Hatton's comments this week? <laughs> Hatton was fantastic. They Hatton, were incredible. Hatton is another character. Like Hatton is a character. Reed's a character. Bryce is a character. <laughs> Brooks is a, is like a, like cool like alpha male dude. Yeah. Phil is Phil is Phil. I mean, like you have all like some of the better like Rom, personalities. Rom's got emotions. You'll get. Rom I'll also say this. Head. I'll also say this. I, I really, before we go, I really do appreciate um, the Presley Sunday conversation with Brooks Kafka this week. That was incredibly yes, well done. Content. Yes. Phenomenal content. Um, and you know, Other a lot good. of people don't think Brooks has that side of him, but like he does. Like he has that he personality. He's a funny dude. Yeah, he yeah. is a funny dude. The so. um, I You brought up Haddon. They, he'd like miss a putt. And they just go straight to his face. And every time, <laughs> every time he's got something to say to his caddy or the sky. Or the or, green. Or like, the green. Why the hell did you break that way? <laughs> like he cannot believe that it snapped that much or it didn't break. <laughs> and like he was he was saying all these things with his accent too about like goodness gracious, looking at, you know, the hot mics picking up, you know, the the F bombs all over the place and it was fantastic because he played with Tiger on Saturday. And I think he played – Hat played really well Saturday. But he dropped some uh, – he was dropping some profanity. And then you could hear Tiger start to drop it too because I think he was just <laughs> picking up Hatton's, Hatton's vibe. And that was – I thought that was fantastic. But what a great Masters. What a I great Masters. And it's sad. Champion and good content. It's sad that we have another – because honestly, I'll be honest. Um, I I can't get too into the PGA. Like going into the week, there's not the hype that comes with the U.S. Open and Open, even though it's always a fun championship. Um, but there's nothing like the week of the Masters. Like the entire week is just Masters, 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 yeah. and that that'll be missed. You get to see um, Sammy and Sophie, and you know. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I I I the believe. Alpha hags um, at the dinner. Yes, I believe. Um, Sammy put two balls in the water this week. Um, so like father, like son. As <laughs> Spieth, I, I I actually believe Spieth. Um, like put the same amount of balls in the water at the par three contest as Sammy did, because uh, Sammy put one in the water on eight and nine. It's a fast so. Time for the week. Yeah, Ricky, not, and not Ricky great. won the par three contest, and we all know what that meant. to Fowler on leaving. Some hardware. Some hardware. Some hardware. <laughs> and a new and a new baby. Yeah, it's on the way for them as well. Oh, I forgot about and that. Yeah, congrats. Meredith needs to hurry along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's kind of. I will say that whole story was like way overblown in my. Oh opinion, yeah, way. She, like Sam Burns' wife was. Oh, She's like what, like eight closer. months, right? She was Meredith. like still like three a week, or like three weeks away or four weeks so away. Like that's like that's not like normally imminent. Is like so you're labor. saying like you're saying imminent. you're saying Scott's out of Valhalla. Possible. It's slam time. Da, oh. da, 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 da. They might they might like then choose to induce like or like during like Zurich week oh. because I don't think Sheffer would do that. He's too much of a family man. Well, right. I, I like no, this too the, much to, detail, Could you everyone's, imagine? Everyone's induced these days. Like I was induced twice for both my kids. So. 
Could you imagine the Scheffler slam is just not a thing because he has a kid? Can you imagine he wins he the other three and doesn't even go to uh, Valhalla? That would be and the biggest what triumphs. if for years. Oh, wow. That would, that would be crazy. Yeah. 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 But um, I guess I have another what if. That's all I got. We'll be back for the RBC preview. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to that week, as you can tell. <laughs> I am. I'm excited. I think he's got a chance. God. I, about... I have a I have a master singer where it's been hard to get up for I'm that. Talking about Cantlay, of course, not Speed. But I already have my card done, so we'll see you guys then. Peace. Peace. Peace.